Hi, I'm Dimitri Metzelton at Mackie, and in this video I'm going to show you the setup of the Mackie Control Universal Pro. I'm using Steinberg's Cubase for the setup, but the Mackie Control also works with all other popular DAWs, like Pro Tools, Logic Pro, Ableton Live, Bitwig Studio and many others. This is made possible through the Mackie Control and Mackie UE protocols, which became a studio standard. On the back side of the Mackey control you will find the USB and the MIDI ports. The USB port is for connecting the MCU to your computer. You won't need to install any drivers, as the MCU offers true plug and play. You can connect up to three Mackey control extenders using the MIDI ports if you want to work with more faders and knobs at the same time. But the Mackey control also functions as a MIDI interface, thus the MIDI ports can be used to connect other MIDI capable devices such as keyboards and synthesizers. Now let's take a look at the settings that need to be made in Cubase to establish the connection with the MCU. The procedure is similar in other DAWs. In Cubase please go to Devices and Device Setup. By clicking on the plus icon you can add the Mackie control. Then choose the MCU MIDI port to connect the MCU. You can freely map any Cubase function or shortcut to the 8 function keys of the MCU in the Mackie Control setup screen. And with the shift key on the MCU you can control even up to 16 functions, plus 2 assignable foot switches. The MCU offers many control options, starting with the transport functions with the play, stop and recording keys, and the jog shuttle wheel that can be switched into scrubbing mode. The many transport functions include different marker options and activating the cycle mode. Above the transport section you will find a set of keys which vary depending on the DAW that you use. Mackie offers legs and overlays for the most popular DAWs like Cubase, Pro Tools, Logic and others. When using Cubase you will find your keys to activate the automation or to open different windows like the mixer or the instrument rack among many other keys. The nine motorized faders are located on the left side, the right fader being the master fader. Above the faders you will find the select channel, mute, solo and record enable keys. The endless rotating v-pots which also can be pushed are on top of that. You can control any channel in your DAW with the eight channel faders that offer a switchable touch sensitive mode. Using the bank keys you can access further channels, if you are running more than 8 channels in your project. You sure can automate any fader movements, as you also can automate almost any parameter of your recording program. We will see how this works with a simple fader automation. It's also possible to open and control plugins. You can read the different functions on the MCU display. On the right screen you can see the time display, which depending on your DAW settings shows the time code or bars and beats. The Mackie Control Universal Pro offers extensive and easy controls for all popular DAWs like Pro Tools, Logic, Cubase, Bitwig and more. It's also plug and play compatible. We just have to connect your USB cable. This combined with the accurate 100mm motor faders and a solid construction 
makes the Mackie Control the ideal choice for every recording studio.